Hey guys, welcome back to Pass the Money. My name is Alex. That's Kirby over there. Today we're going to be talking about how we would live on 15 an hour. So from my understanding, Kirby, this, this topic is going to be like a single, like someone's single, right? Not a couple that's only making 15 an hour, correct? Right. If somebody's single making fifteen dollars an hour, because if it's a couple, both of them making fifteen dollars an hour, that's thirty dollars an hour. Yeah. So yeah, just a single person fifteen dollars an hour. If they saying, "Oh, I can't make it in in any environment, no matter if it's uh, Florida, you know, right. now California, New York, it's maybe maybe something different, but anywhere, anywhere." But it's a poss it's a way to make it on fifteen dollars an hour. I don't care what state you live in. Now you now your level of comfort may be you know different. You know. The sacrifice you might have to make, depending on where you're at, are different. But all in all, no matter where you're at in America today, if you make fifteen dollars an hour, it will be sacrifices that need to be made to, you know, still have a quality of life, but not the quality of life that you're seeking uh, yet. But again, it's early on, fifteen dollars an hour. If you keep working hard, you can increase that money in other avenues by pay raises, annual pay raises, side hustles, and things like that. But today, we're just going to talk about. If we made just fifteen dollars an hour, how would we live? Right. Um. I mean, I it doesn't like because I look back on like what I did where I roomed with four people, and so my rent was like two hundred dollars a month, and I was making ten dollars an hour. So this right. this is an interesting topic because I can kind of relate to it. And the reason why we use a fifteen dollars an hour is because that in a in a few states and it's going to go across other states. That's the minimum wage. Uh, so and it, and most time people that make fifteen dollars an hour, you know, they're just starting out, or there's some people that maybe had hardships in their life and you know they're starting all over again. But remember, this is just a starting point. This is not your end point. So you can't go live in South Tampa. Uh, you can't be living on uh Miami Beach with fifteen dollars an hour. So you have to live your wage. That's it. You have to live your wage with the goal of increasing your wages over time to better your situation. But, you know, it can range for one bedroom apartment, depending on what area. And I'm not going to say the areas are great. You probably can still find some that's, you know, $600 a month. But if you can't find some that's $600 a month, that's what you need to be looking for. If you're making $15 an hour, $600 a month is really all you're looking for. And I'm not saying that, oh, you're going to find $600 a month places. So now you got to think outside the box. You got to think outside the box as of, all right, I can't afford $600 a month. So I need to find a roommate. Uh, maybe somebody's out there house hacking. I know a lot of people are house hacking that has a room available for $600 a month. Remember, this is the starting point. This is not the end point of your life. So you're using that. And again, the max you should be paying is around $600 a month. So this is not your end goal. So you're using this $600 a month place to keep stacking cash to build more income, to build more income so you can do other things. While you're stacking cash and building more income, you're you know working the overtime. You're trying to get promoted at work. You're coming up with different little side hustles to do, but six hundred dollars and six hundred dollars a month in rent is what you're looking for. All right, so all right, we already talked about how to, how the rent will go, right? So the rent, the rent, six hundred dollars a month. Uh, that's that's the ballpark where you should be shooting for fifteen hundred dollars a month. But yeah, and, and we're not taking out taxes and stuff like that. But six hundred dollars a month is where you should shoot for for uh, rent. Again, thinking outside the box and all that. Yada yada yada. But then after that, what's what's the next important thing? Uh, and also thinking out of the box when it comes to rent, maybe you could find a situation where $600 a month will include the utilities and stuff like that. But if not, utilities will be added in the video. Uh, but let's say a car. I would not be going to a dealership to get a car at $15 an hour. What I would do is be looking for somebody on Facebook yard sale, something like that. Just finding a mode of transportation to get you from point A to B. I don't care what that mode of transportation is, but the least the least cost amount to get you from point A to B. And the point A to B I'm talking about is from home to work. Mm -hmm. From home to side hustle. It could be a from device. home to producing from home to producing money. But that's it. It don't need to be some luxury car to go show off a plot with friends. You have time for that. Again, this is the baseline. And this is exactly um 
in previous videos, we talked about the journey of me and my wife being, you know, $250,000 in debt. And then this is stuff that we did. Um, but just from point A to point B. So you get you a, get you a car. You, of course, you will have the insurance payments no matter if you get a you know cheap car paid off or whatever. But find find a mode of transportation that can get you point A at the lowest the lowest cost possible to you. So let's just say insurance and car that comes up to another three four hundred dollars a month. So that's already that's already a thousand bucks, right? And then you got to And then the next most important thing is food and groceries. You know, food and groceries. Let's just call it like $200 a month. So that's $1,200 a month, right? Besides that, make it $15 an hour, food, shelter, transportation, to get two working back is all that you need. You notice I'm, I'm not putting in subscriptions to uh, what Netflix and all that. Find some friends that got a Netflix account and use their account if you need that. Uh Utilities, utilities, you should be paying, you should be paying about, you know, internet is almost a necessity now. So, you know, internet, lights, you know, your share of the lights, whatever, gas, that's maybe another $300, right? With that internet, light, water. So add another $300 to that. It's a one unit apartment or one unit shelter. So the utilities won't be that high. So combine it together, $600 for shelter, $400 for transportation. That's a thousand. Utilities is another $300. And then food is two to $300. That's a total of $1,500. Yeah. $1,500. $1, and then so six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. You're bringing in $2,400 a month. If you just work, if you just work in a bare minimum, 40 hours a week, you're bringing in $2,400 a month plus taxes. Let's just say you're bringing in $2,000 a month after taxes. I just use that. Yeah. So that gives you an extra four hundred dollars to save Five. to stack. So excuse me, five hundred dollars to save and stack over and over and over. So after after a year in this situation, now you have five thousand dollars. Thinking was that six thousand dollars? Six thousand dollars in a year saved up. Now you have six thousand dollars a year saved up, and hopefully in that year you increase. You know, another stream of income, or you getting a pay rate, and then you may get a promotion at your job. And if you get a promotion at your job, and then you go from fifteen to eighteen dollars an hour, and then now you're a supervisor or manager or what have you. What you do is you still live on the budget that you're making fifteen dollars an hour, and then now the money that you will save up is around another eight thousand. So now you're sitting there with about fifteen thousand dollars saved up. $15,000 saved up at the end of year two is enough to give you a down payment on a nice small property for yourself, or you can move into a duplex, three, triplex, fourplex, putting three and five percent down. And now you have a house that you can live in and you're renting out the other sides of the uh, the other units and those tenants are paying the mortgage. So that $600 you was paying for rent, now you're paying $0 for rent. So now that's more money you can stack up to continue rent and repeat over and over and over again. Just because you made more income at 50, after $15, $15 an hour, that don't mean you have to live your lifestyle at that level. You're going to get it. If, if you re rent and repeat this method three, four, five times, then you can go get that car that you want. You can go get the house that you want. But now other people are paying for the things that you want. And that's literally what I will do if I was making $15 an hour today. And I had to start all over. Yeah, and there's, I mean, there's other things to sacrifice too like because just thinking about it two hundred dollars a month on food is probably actually like luxurious in a situation like that because you can live on less than that yeah. especially i mean you can buy if you really want to go all out guys you could start buying ramen you know buy beans you know i mean it, even like uh it's funny i there's some videos on uh like andrew tate talks about like him and his brother would just buy rice and like beans, like the cheapest protein they could find and just live on that. Um, and even internet, it, you could kind of cut that out if you have data, you know, if you have on the phone plan, which you could get for say 50 bucks a month. And so you can cut out internet, um, you know, and just like you said, you don't need the subscriptions and Netflix, Amazon, let's just talking about necessities. Like if, uh, you know, making the sacrifices necessary to get, get started on your path.
And like you said, though, highlighting that point where it's not going to be comfortable at all. It's, I mean, $600, $600 a month in Florida. Yeah, that's going to, you're going to be, you're going to be in the woods. <laughs> so it's not going to be, it's not going to be that right, great. Yeah, you're going to be in, you're going to be in some, you're going to be in some hard conditions or hard, maybe harsh conditions. But again, that's why I said think outside the box. Look for people maybe where you're working at. You know, they're struggling to come up with rent also. So, you know, maybe, you know, find a, a duplex. And it is duplexes that's around. I mean, it's probably not an A rate. I know it's not an A rated neighborhood, but it's in a decent enough neighborhood where you'll be safe and sound. And then you get a roommate, get a two bedroom apartment, maybe pay, you know, maybe a thousand bucks a month. And then y'all splitting that. That's 500 bucks a month a piece. Yeah. So you're below that $6,000. I mean, that $600 a month threshold. And just keep it, keep it minimal for your half of it. You probably can't control what your roommate does, but keep it minimal. And again, it's only temporary. If you remember, it's only temporary. And if you sacrifice right there, you will continue to grow. And this is for anybody 18, 30, 40, 50, and they're just starting over. They can still do the same thing. And this, and no matter where you can do this, even if it's a, let's say California where rent is out the wazoo, you get a two bedroom apartment there or something like that. What I mean by uncomfortable, it might cost you $3,000. You might need four roommates in a two-bedroom apartment. Maybe some people might be sleeping in the, sleeping in the living room and just sleeping on the couch. Yeah. It's only temp it's only uncomfortable temporarily. So get the costs as low as possible and to build up that capital. And then you can go branch out, just like the things we said. You, know, you do this for a year or two, and then you get promotions, and you make more money. And now you have a nut saved up to... Go buy a duplex, a triplex, a fourplex, and then because you you're uh, you're moving into the property, you only need three to five percent down, and then you can rent out the other units. You probably still want to house hack the place that you live in, but you can uh, rent out the other three or four units, and they will pay for the mortgage. And now that six hundred dollars was paid in mortgage or rent previously, you get to keep for yourself. Yep. You keep that for yourself, and then. You can stack more, stack more, stack more. Rent to repeat and do that again. Then after you have two or three duplexes, fourplexes, then you can go maybe at this time, you can, you know, found a significant other, wanted to build a family. Then now you have six to 12 tenants paying the mortgage for your rental properties and will also pay the mortgage for the house you live. And you still have all the money that you're, that you're actually working for, all the cash that you're actually working for. And then you bring in another element like a significant other spouse, and then they have the income and that money that y'all can still build off of, build off of, build off of. And by that time, you probably still haven't cracked the $20 an hour range. But if you're a go-getter motivator, you move up in your company, you create side hustles, then you'll create more than that. But even at $15, uh, $15 an hour, you can still accomplish that goal. Because with this scenario that we use, at $15 an hour, they still collected $6,000 a month. That they had sitting on the side. Yeah, it's very possible. I mean, I know I've done it, you've done it, you know what I mean? In different scenarios and things, but uh it, it's possible. Um and it's just about make you know, thinking outside the box, like you said. And I know I know that, you know, uh housing costs and things like that were cheaper or like rent was cheaper when I you know, when I was doing it, but I was making ten dollars an hour everything was divided everything came out to with utilities and rent about 950 a month and then we just we split it four ways that could be another way you know if if someone cuz i know if you get a one bedroom it may not be too far much of a difference from a two bedroom and pay but if you get a two bedroom you can now room and then you know cut the cost in half and then it would take you below what you would uh, pay for a one bedroom so uh I mean, some people even go as far as like getting one bedroom, one sleeps on the couch and one has a bedroom, one pays more for the bedroom mm -hmm. than the couch, mm -hmm. you know, so things like that. But Yeah, but the key word is remember is you're going to be uncomfortable, but it's only temporary. You have a bigger goal. You focus on the goal, be uncomfortable while you're focusing on the goal. And then everything will turn out. And this is and everything we're talking about. This is not a 20 year process. This is three to five years. We're talking about yeah. you're you've been built assets, you have your own place to live, and 
in the scenario of fifteen dollars an hour, after your second year, you're out of that uncomfortable position. You have your own place to yourself, and you're and you're building cash flow for somewhere else. Yeah. So this is not a twenty year plan here. This is, you know, two to five years where you're building assets and things like that, and you're only making fifteen dollars an hour. Just imagine all the other stuff you can do if when your pay increases and you don't bring your lifestyle up to that amount you're making. Always live like you were living at fifteen dollars an hour and make it work and it'll work out for you. So with all that being said, I hope I hope this was informational. This can help you out. I know we had a time in the economic cycle where a lot of people are worried about how they're gonna survive, what they're gonna do, you know, layoffs is happening and things like that. But understand the fight is not over, the world's not coming to an end, and there is a way out of the process. So this could be a great reset for some people, a great humbling experience for others. But all in all, you can still win if you follow steps and you're willing to be uncomfortable for a short amount of time. So that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you're doing it yourself. We'd be interested to hear. So let us know and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.